Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Get Outside with Girl Scouts. We're going to give everybody just a few moments to join us. If you're not already outside, grab whatever device you're on and come outside and join us. I hope everybody's doing great today on this beautiful Saturday morning. And if you didn't catch us, if you don't catch us live today because everyone is attending our town hall, that's okay. You can go back and do our video later. Okay, friends, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome, everybody. My name is June Sisk with Girl Scouts Carolina Speaks to Piedmont. And our council serves 40 counties in Central and Western North Carolina. And today, we are outside with Girl Scouts. And we're going to do one of my favorite things. So all, Girl Scouts is all about using our creativity and our mind and just seeing what can we do to make the world a better place. And one way to practice our creativity and our invention skills and have fun is to use simple machines and a design called a Rube Goldberg machine. So just to kind of explain to you what that is, is I think everybody's seen it. Um, a great commercial version of it is Mousetrap. So basically a Rube Goldberg machine is where you put together a bunch of simple machines and there are way too many steps just to get a simple task done. But why do we do it? One, they're a lot of fun. Two, they help us get creative and they help us think like scientists and engineers and they help us um, learn how to solve problems, which are all things that Girl Scouts are great about. So how do you build a Rube Goldberg machine? Well, this is the part where you get to be creative. You just find a bunch of random things in your house and figure out how can you put them together and what kind of problems you want to solve. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I collected from my house. So here's some items, like common items that you get put together. Legos are always a great way to start building anything. I wanted some dominoes, but we didn't have any, so we had a Jenga game. So use those. Um, any kind of toothpicks, uh, bamboo skewers, little dowels, anything like that would be great. You always want to have tape. So I've got uh, scotch tape and masking tape here. You always want some kind of twine, string. You're going to want scissors to different cut. Um, you're going to want something to make a ramp or a tunnel. And toilet paper tubes, paper towel tubes are great for things like that. Um, you can always add elements of fun and twist. So one of the things you can use would be like a fidget spinner. I mean, you know, the, the sky is the limit. It's all about your creativity and your imagination. You could use a balloon to use air pressure to rock it, to push something forward. Um, you could even do a hairpin trigger with a tape measure. And let's see what else I've got here. I've got sticky notes that you could use to build ramps and all kinds of stuff. So our Rube Goldberg machine today is just, it's just a model that we came up with and it's just going to get you started. By doing this process, you can actually do parts of several badges. We have a journey out there, it's called Think Like an Engineer, and you can do this as part of that badge. For daisies, you could do your uh, design a roller coaster. For brownies, you can do your fling flyer. And for juniors, you can do your crane. And all of these, um, and they're just a lot of fun to build. My husband and I, who's a troop leader, had a blast doing this. So, we're going to show you what we came up with. Now, fingers crossed, we are going to start our marble up here on our ramp. And it's going to come down and get caught in part of our birdhouse, knock down the dominoes, make this marble roll forward, knock all the dominoes down, and pull the car off the table. Now, if it doesn't work, it's okay, because that's what science and physics are all about. So we would go back and we would redesign. But if it doesn't work, we will post a video of the one time we did get it to work. So I hope everybody enjoys this today. All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna try this, ready? One, two, three. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> so as you can see, that was a failed attempt and that's okay. Um, what happened, I think, is I think that our ball, our bowl here got tilted a little bit and our ball didn't work, but it should have hit our dominoes and our dominoes should have fell down. That one fell off the table and pulled the car. So 
So, as you can see, it's okay to not succeed all the time. So what we're gonna do after this video is we're gonna go back and we're gonna put our machine back together and try it again. And the best part about this is I learned that it's okay to not succeed all the time because that's gonna give me an opportunity to learn from my mistakes and do better next time. So now I challenge all of you guys to get creative. Go in your house and find old toys, paper towel tubes, tape, whatever. Grab a parent or a sibling or do it by yourself and invent something. It can make a car roll, it can make a roller coaster, you can shoot an airplane, do whatever you wanna do and come back and post your videos on this comment and show us what you came up with. If you um, loved what you saw today and are excited about being creative with Girl Scouts and are not already part of our Girl Scout family, we have lots of virtual opportunities available. We have live Facebook enrichments every day at 11, 4, and 7, Monday through Friday, and on Saturdays at 11 a.m. If you're not already part of our Girl Scout family, we have a virtual Girl Scout troop series starting, and you can get more information about that by visiting beagirlscout.org forward slash connect. And if your favorite place is being outside just like mine, a great way, um, a great place to go is our Girl Scout camp. And you can learn more about our Girl Scout camps at camplikeagirl.org. And to learn about all of our virtual opportunities, our programs that we're offering, our troops, and our daily enrichments, my friend Leslie is going to post that in the comments. So I hope everyone enjoyed this today and I hope it sparks your creativity and as promised I will post the video of it working below. Thank you so much friends and I hope you have a wonderful day.